that a mass food collapse would be helpful because it would wipe out the poor. His fictional scenario would later be called a Malthusian catastrophe. Malthus is important because his ideas led to the rise of a new scientific field that would dominate the course of human history for the next 200 plus years. Charles Darwin, an admirer of the Malthusian catastrophe model, developed the theory of evolution, its chief tenet being the survival of the fittest. With the help of T.H. Huxley, known as Darwin's bulldog for his strong support of Darwin's theories, Darwin's theories were pushed into wide acceptance among key scientific circles throughout England and then the world. Darwin's cousin, Francis Galton, credited as the father of eugenics, saw an opportunity to advance mankind by taking the reins of Darwin's evolution theory and applied social principles to develop social Darwinism. The families, Darwin, Galton, Huxley, and Wedgwood were so obsessed with their new social design theory that they pledged their families would only breed with each other. They falsely predicted that within only a few generations, they would produce supermen. The emerging pseudoscience was only codifying the practice of inbreeding, already popular within elites for millennia. The four families experiment was a disaster. Within only two generations of inbreeding, close to 90% of their offspring either died at birth or were seriously mentally or physically handicapped. The moneyed class of the planet, and particularly the royal families of the world, who were already obsessed with breeding and filled with a predatory disdain for the underclass, seized on the new science and began aggressively enforcing its aims worldwide. Biometrics appears to be a new science, but it was actually developed by Galton back in the 1870s as a way to track racial traits and genetic histories, and as a way to decide who would be licensed to breed. In 1904, the Cold Springs Harbor Research Facility was started in the United States by eugenicist Charles Davenport with the funding of prominent robber barons Carnegie, Rockefeller, and Harriman. In 1907, the first sterilization laws were passed in the United States. Citizens with mild deformities or low test scores on their report cards were arrested and forcibly sterilized. 